Hey, I'm Mel from Bloombox Co and welcome to week four of the five minute flower challenge. Last week we talked about foraging for greenery and using that to create amazing botanical arrangements in your own home and we've been loving the projects that have been coming through on Instagram and Facebook, so keep them coming. This week we're going to the other end of the spectrum and we are asking you to go out and treat yourself to a bunch of luxury flowers. So something that you may have been looking at for a while and wishing you could buy or something that maybe you're wondering how you're going to bring that into your home and work with it in an arrangement. Um, I couldn't go past this week this amazing bunch of dark maroon ranunculus. Um, I just fell in love with the colour and also the, you know, they've got so many layers of petals which are just amazing. Now you don't have to do this because something like these ranunculus or a nice bunch of roses would look amazing on their own in a vase. But I did also splurge on some of this amazing dark uh, willow myrtle. And I also got myself some see some sea holly and some snowberry just to add a bit of extra texture. And I really like this, this blue colour of the sea holly. So I'm going to show you how to bring these together and create a really beautiful, luxurious arrangement for your home. I like to start with my foliage first because it lets me know what kind of height and volume we're working with. I'm just stripping off these lower leaves and popping the stems in the vase, leaning them out to the side a little. Then I'm going to work with our focus flower, this beautiful ranunculus. I'm just going to do the same, strip off the lower greenery, then nestle those into the willow myrtle one at a time. I'm using a mixture of the open ranunculus and the closed buds to create a bit of texture. The closed buds are also a great way to make your arrangement last a bit longer because they'll start to open a little later. So when you're buying your flowers, be sure to look out for some buds to include. I'm going to keep most of the snowberry kind of short and just tucked in around the ranunculus because they look really cute nestled together like that. Lastly, we put in our sea holly. I'm going to leave this longer so it stays nice and tall against the willow myrtle. I really like the little pop of blue against these dark burgundy colours and it's thistle-like texture. And there you go, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Um, as you can see, I've got a ton of stuff left over, so you could, if you've got the same, you could go ahead and do another arrangement, or you could wrap them up, give them to a friend, and encourage them to also join the 5 Minute Flower Challenge. Um, we hope to see what you guys get up to. Don't forget to post your pictures on Instagram, and also into the 5 Minute Flower Challenge squad group on Facebook. We love seeing what you get up to. We'll see you next week for week five of the 5 Minute Flower Challenge. See ya!